everyone, welcome to Girl Stampede. Our guest today is Olga Batigan, a trained biologist and the co-founder and current CEO of Lucinetic, a software platform that writes personalized and specific letters of recommendation for its users. Hi, Olga, thank you for being here today. Hi, Kalaipi, so great to be here. Thank you for having me. So before we get into our actual questions, I wanted to ask you an icebreaker, which is if you can meet any female in STEM from history, who would it be and why? That's really an easy question. Um, it's uh, Hedy Lamar. Uh, Hedy Lamar is just absolutely amazing or was amazing. She actually uh, passed away in 2000, but it was still during the time that, um, you know, I had, I was already a teenager and I learned about her at that time. And uh, I really wish I would have been able to meet her. Um, she was absolutely amazing movie star, um, you know, was Jewish uh, in Vienna and actually helped her mother escape um, from Austria. And then um, she was married for a short time to an arms dealer, <laughs> so which is kind of nuts, right? And then um, she was discovered in Hollywood as like, one of the most beautiful women, described as one of the most beautiful women. And she was given several roles in movies and she was just kind of bored so she was just like you know what i think i'm gonna invent something <laughs> so incredible incredible so she just uh she and a friend um a composer whose name was um i believe george anthel um they received um they got a patent together for uh basically a secret communication system that they developed um and the goal was to use it to defeat the nazis but um, it was totally kind of unappreciated at the time. And, um, you know, for a while, it went kind of under the radar, no pun intended, but, um, you know, it was, um, it's, it's wide ranging impact was really kind of seen in like the seventies. Um, and it, they, I mean, it's incredible because it's actually still used as uh, technology to maintain the security of uh, military communications and cellular phones and, um, you know, she received some award, um, I should look it up, but it was uh, like basically like the um, Oscar of the sciences. It wasn't a, you know, Nobel, but it was a different award, but just an amazing, incredible person who persevered and uh, was led by her mission and uh, uh, discovered something really fantastic. So I'm just very inspired uh, by, by her story. Yeah, that's awesome. I had never heard of her, but that's such a cool, no one's ever brought her up or anything like that, but that's such a cool thing that she did. And the fact that, you know, she's still remembered to this day and that her work still has impacts to this day is also really, really important, I think, because a lot of the time people or in history, women in STEM have, you know, had a role and had a job that's been important, but maybe it hasn't been carried through. It hasn't been used or, you know, respected throughout time, but the fact that she has been and, you know, is still important is very very awesome. So I, I like that person. <laughs> yeah, and also just being able to bridge kind of these totally um, the kind of off offshoot fields. I mean, uh, her partner in this was a composer, so they kind of they used uh, the the basis of music, right? And uh, you know, to 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 think about radio frequencies, and, and it's just I think that's so cool because I I often think that. Um, careers are non-linear and kind of finding your dream is a non-linear process and so uh, it's very inspirational for me. Yeah no that's awesome. So my first real question is could you briefly tell us what you do and could you take us through your typical day so what's your favorite part your least favorite part etc. Yeah so well, my title is co-founder and CEO of Lucinetic, right? But I really see myself as a facilitator. Um, you know, I, I have the best team in the world. And so my job is basically just to enable them and to make sure that they have the resources that they need, um, you know, to support the people that um, that are building this. And we, um, we do a lot of things, right? And as a founder, of course, I touch a lot of different uh, parts of the company. And that's kind of the thrilling, the fun thing about it is that, you know, I get exposed to all these different parts of this larger system. And I get to work with a variety of different people. And it could be sort of from the proverbial cleaning up to kind of like the technical, the legal, um, you know, finance and all these different um, aspects. And so my typical day really kind of changes dramatically 
automatically at any stage. It doesn't necessarily um, follow the same patterns every day. And it might include calls with my team or uh, talking to customers and doing a lot of discovery about what the customers might need. Um, working on the technical part and the language model, um, fundraising, um, kind of making sure that we're compliance and doing, you know, good standing. So a lot of different parts, and that's part of the thrill of being a founder and uh, having an amazing team that you can trust. Mm -hmm. No, that's awesome. I mean, I've never, besides Girl Stampede, I've never really founded anything, but I rely on, you know, my mom and the help she can give me as, I guess, my team. And I think, you know, even my my parents and relatives as well have given me a lot of support on this journey. And I think that having that support system and knowing you can rely on other people and not just thinking that you're going to be the only one who does the entire thing yourself, I think that's really a really important realization to make as soon as possible so that you know how to balance the workout and you know when you're needed, when you're not needed. And, you know, you can focus on what you're really specifically good at and let other people do the things that maybe you're not as skilled at and that they're skilled at. So I think that's important learning to balance that for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you are just so wise. And I think that, uh, you know, what you've built here is so fantastic. So I definitely commend you for for starting this. This is a really big deal and it's going to have a lot of impacts and ripples. Uh, so definitely feel proud of what you've accomplished. And I think that definitely, I think what leads me and what really helps me is um, understanding that you should really surround yourself with people who are better than you, because then that means you're always growing and you're always growing as a team. So mm -hmm. I, it's kind of incredible that you've already figured that out. So kudos to you. Thank you so much.